Welcome, dear traders. Financial markets are reviving today, yet optimism is somewhat restrained by yesterday's weak data from China, and downbeat reports may signal a slowdown in one of the world's largest economies. Wall Street managed to score gains on a Monday, closing in a positive territory. However, risk appetite remained subdued in the Asian session today. The US dollar was able to consolidate at a weekly high. The Australian dollar, on the contrary, could fall below the psychologically important level in the short term. Recently, stocks have been rising amid expectations of a slowdown in monetary tightening. They have been trading near multi-month highs. So, however, cracks in a once resilient China's economy have undermined euphoria. So, the main stock indexes are likely to get stuck in the current range until new catalysts appear. Some analysts believe that a rate cut by China's central bank will hardly help stimulate the economy. This is why some of them have even slashed China's growth outlook. If investors do not see any signs of a recovery in the world's second largest economy, a further rise in stock markets, in particular in Asian ones, is rather questionable. Besides, Asian stock markets have a high correlation with the Wall Street. Thus, gloomy reports from China reinforced recession fears. However, the risks of a global recession have not subdued. Traders just uh, preferred to focus on a more optimistic fundamental factors. After dropping the CPI index, analysts started to pin hopes on a softer landing without a recession. Janet Yellen made it clear last weekend that a recession is not something in a there are also plenty of opportunities to avoid it. The upcoming macro stats will provide more hints about the state of the economy. Today, retail sales data and the FMC meeting minutes are on the tap. The tone of the minutes could be also hawkish given that the meeting was held before the release of the CPI data. To this end, traders may ignore them. The US dollar index managed to recap most of its early losses and returned to weekly highs. In the Asian trade, it was firmly trading around 106.50, which was slightly lower than yesterday's high. The greenback regained ground as a safe haven asset. Risk appetite remains subdued as the tensions around Taiwan are mounting. A delegation of the US lawmakers arrived in Taiwan on Sunday, less than two weeks after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's trip. It significantly escalated tensions between the United States and China, and dollar bills took the upper hand. The US currency broke through an important resistance level of 106.00. If it jumps above the next resistance level of 107.00, it could start a steady rally. The US dollar is likely to keep climbing amid the risks of a global recession. Its current rally is largely fueled by aggressive monetary tightening despite signs of a slowdown in inflation and economic expansion. President of Richmond Fed Thomas Parkin said that the regulator needs to keep rising interest rates until it's clear inflation is running at its 2% target. Traders are now waiting for speeches from several Fed officials this week, and they may give more clues about the rate hikes. These factors are bearish for the yen. Demand for safe haven assets were supposed to stir up the yen. So far, it has not happened. The USD GPI pair was trading today at the same level of 133.40. Analysts are still betting on a strong rise in the US dollar. When risk appetite recovers, the US dollar may take advantage of the uh, relatively strong prospects of the US economy, it could also um, enter a consolidation phase. This is why it's uh, crucial for traders to make the forecast taking into account aggressive tightening by the Fed Reserve.
The USD GPI pair is expected to climb to 135.60, a high of August 8. To do so, the pair needs to grow above 134.10. The Australian dollar is facing bearish pressure due to China's economic worth. The outer USD pair slightly dropped today after yesterday's losses. The bulls are trying to assert strength. However, the quotes are likely to drop below the psychologically important level of 0 0.7000. At the same time, the outlook of the Australian dollar looks quite bright. The economic growth in Australia is projected to be more robust next year than in some other large economies, even with the Reserve Bank of Australia's aggressive rate hikes this year. For this reason, analysts expect the pair to hit a 0.74 over 12 months. Nevertheless, the rally of the US dollar amid a risk aversion may undermine this scenario. However, such a risk is likely to persist only for one or two, uh, three months. And today, the Reserve Bank of Australia unveiled its meeting minutes for August. According to the minutes, the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia policymakers do not rule out the possibility of the normalization of a monetary policy in the coming months. Yet, the regulator did not provide clearer hints. The main priority is to keep the economy stable. Inflation is expected to peak this year. By the end of 2024, it should decrease to the upper border of the target range from a 2 uh, to 3 percent. As the result, the minutes did not contain new information, so the tune was considered more dovish. And now investors are looking for clues about whether inflation has uh, peaked. Any signs of uh, it may indicate a more favorable scenario for the US economy and the global one. Judging by the behavior of the markets, it's uh, still early to count on a steady recovery. And that's all for now. Subscribe to our channel and keep close tabs on the market developments. See you!